We have another wind week first half of MLC 11 and so I'm here with another zero cycle with blade. Uh, there's a few things that have to go right here but it doesn't actually matter who gets hit first. So I basically play it out to see what happens. It's just cumulatively blade should be hit enough to trigger three follow-up attacks in total. Also, <laughs> Sparkle cannot be slowed or else the speed tuning will be off. And ideally, no one should be CC'd except for Ranme. Ranme is the only one who can be stunned and will be fine. So, well, actually I kind of lied. I think Branya can be slowed here because she doesn't actually get slowed past the point of one cycle. And so... I can actually still work with this. Okay, so that's the first wave done. Now for wave two, um, you can see that Blade is set up for his second follow-up attack of the fight. And then we just need to guarantee that he can get a third follow-up attack off. So this into his ult into another follow-up attack should put him at two stacks. So he just has to be hit once without getting stunned. And here no one else should- so he got hit once, so that's the run. And then we just need to hope that no one gets stunned here. Alright, no one got stunned, so the run is set. And then the alt should finish it. So that's the zero cycle. A few things have to go right, but basically three follow-up attacks from Blade without um, anyone getting stunned. Or if they do get stunned, it has to be one of those situations where it doesn't actually screw up the run. So like, Branya got stunned here initially, but it still, it still didn't really matter in the end. And then I had a run in before that was not as clean where Ron May got stunned, but it was fine because she's not that critical. Well, like she's critical in the run, but like after she sets up her initial alt and skill, like it doesn't matter what happens to her after that. That was my zero cycle. This time it's not S0. S0 would have been way too hard. I had to use S1 for the consistency.